Oh, John Paul's had a huge impact on me personally. So I entered the seminary in the fall of 1978, the college seminary. And that was the, remember the year of the three popes. Pope Paul VI died in August of 78. Then John Paul I was elected. And then John Paul II is elected October of 1978. So my kind of formally joining the seminary system coincided with John Paul's emergence as pope. So he's had a huge impact on my own thinking about priesthood, about uh, seminary life. And um, he's reached very deeply into my mind and heart and shaped my sense of what the new evangelization is. So upon becoming rector, uh, when Cardinal George asked me to be rector, I said, well, as I read the recent popes, especially John Paul II, what they want is new evangelization. He said, right. So those are my marching orders. I came as rector to be a rector of the new evangelization. I want this chapel to be the physical embodiment of that idea. So we've made a number of changes institutionally and, and uh, at the level of philosophy here. But I want this chapel to be the physical, symbolic embodiment of that shift. This space is not just for liturgical prayer. So we have obviously Mass every day, but also for devotional prayer. A lot of our guys love to pray the rosary. They pray the office, of course, and other devotions. I want this space to be a devotional space, that it, it fills their imaginations. That's part of the Catholic genius, I think, is we're a colorful, narrative, symbolically rich religion. I envision the next hundred years, the next several generations of seminarians coming into this place and having their imaginations fired by these great saints of, of evangelization. That's what I think is going to happen when they come in here to pray. The renovation began as an idea uh, in my own mind and then talking to a number of people up here who were enthusiastic about it. And you know, there are wonderful people here, theological minds, artistic, architectural minds. But we all knew we had to get the money, of course, to do this renovation. Um, we had two major fundraisers. Uh, the first one was good, it was successful uh, enough. A number of people came forward and, and pledged some money, but we didn't have enough to really do it. The second fundraiser, a similar format, couples came. And one of the couples, I spoke to them in the course of the thing for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so about it. I laid out the vision. Uh, the next day, the uh, lady called me and she said, well, we decided to fund the project. And I didn't quite know what she meant at first. I said, oh, you'd like to buy one of the windows? And she said, no, no, we want to fund the project. So with that, uh, the whole chapel was paid for. And, you know, a lot of this is under the aegis very much of uh, the Little Flower, who's a very special uh, patroness of mine and of the work that I've done. And very early on, I knelt down in my office. I have a big portrait of her in my office. And I just said, Little Flower, help us to make this chapel a reality. And she did. <laughs> I can't tell you the number of ways where money came and expertise came and good advice came. Uh, and I attribute very much to her. So I think she was behind this uh, design, which is why she's going to be in the window on the far left over there. Uh, she'll be on the front row that people see most readily. But I think she had an awful lot to do with the success of this. The couple in question are uh, Ernie and Marilyn Wad, wonderful Catholics. And uh, Ernie Wad had been uh, an Episcopalian most of his life and came to see uh, John Paul II, I think it was in the early uh, zeros, you know, like around 2002 or something, at the end of John Paul's life. And he had a very brief but intense private audience with him. And uh, he asked the Pope, do you think a, an Anglican or an Episcopalian can be saved? And John Paul just very simply said, you know, you're, you're a good man and, you know, you'll be saved. Uh, but it was the touch and it was that uh, contact with John Paul that really affected Ernie Wad. I think when he heard we were dedicating this place to John Paul II, that had a big impact on him. And I think he wanted to uh, contribute to this uh, honoring of the great Pope. Mm -hmm.